we start out with a question from the Discord server every every week that we do this. And this week, the question reads as follows. Dear BNH, is there evidence that unvaccinated individuals are at risk from intimate relationships with people who are vaxxed? If so, is there a time at which these relationships could become safe? For example, waiting one year after someone was vaxxed. Additionally, are the risks significant? Um, the qu the person who wrote in, uh, who, who emailed me with this question also did say, although I didn't post it here somehow, um, you know, she knows that we've talked about this a little bit and, and have said before that it didn't seem like maybe a big deal, or maybe there's more information. Yeah. So what we have said before is that the issue of shedding is hard to fathom because to the extent that an individual can tolerate whatever it is that they're being inoculated with, even with high risks, the fact that most people seem to get away with it, uh, suggests that whatever they might be shedding into the environment through breathing, for example, would be such a tiny fraction of that that it's hard to imagine that absent an extreme sensitivity that it would have any measurable effect. But there's been a lot of work uh, in recent times with respect to particular kinds of shedding. So sexual shedding, which might be especially a hazard to women during sexual intercourse, the shedding of uh, either proteins or mRNA templates themselves in breast milk is a possibility. So I think we cannot discount the possibility that in intimate relationships, there are kinds of shedding that might matter. Now, with respect to a baby, the vulnerability would be much greater because the vulnerability of infants in their first year is substantial. Um, so that is something I would concern myself with. Um, as far as sexual shedding, uh, I could see it being an issue. I would certainly imagine that it is an issue that would decrease over time. With that said, we do not have a good sense of how quickly the body rids itself of these mRNA templates. The right. insane stabilization of the mRNA templates with the pseudouridines, for which, amazingly enough, these uh, mRNA so-called vaccines were given a Nobel Prize, um, means that they are not degradable by normal processes, and the evidence is that they persist for a very long time. Now... Mm -hmm. They have to be degraded by just simply stochastic breakage. Cell turnover happens, right? There, there are some some of our cell lines last almost as long as we do, um, but most cell lines have a considerably shorter lifespan. Yeah, but the problem is even cell lifespan does not inherently limit these. That's true. Uh, yep. The persistence of these transcripts, they could yeah. get taken up and effectively um, re-inoculate. Uh, cells that weren't initially transfected. So for reasons that just come down to basic physics and physiology, you would imagine that there would be a degradation of all of the consequences of these things other than the rare case where a stem cell line had been genetically altered which is possible, especially with the contamination with the plasmids, the SV40 promoter. The mechanisms for genes to be altered are there. In most cases, if genes were altered in a cell, that cell would likely also have been transfected with the mRNA and therefore would likely be destroyed by the immune system. In the case of a stem cell, that might not be the case. So let's just say one would imagine that these risks, whatever they are, decrease over time. The fewer of the shots you've had, the better. The longer ago it was, the better. Um, I don't know how a world is going to deal with, you know, you can't avoid the world of those who got these transfected elements. So, yep. um, you know, I, I would just say your normal instincts probably apply. The number matters. The time it's been since matters. And um, the harm, while unforgivable at the level of these things having been administered, is 
something you can assess its bounds roughly by the fact that most people who got them uh, are, you know, may have been temporarily sickened, but are okay. 